Thing. She said she found God. So she gave Russell Wilson the impression, she waited a year to sleep with him, and she gave him the impression that she was a changed woman. Yeah. Now, after she gets the kids and the resources, she's twerking on Instagram. I think that's disrespectful as a wife. There are things you can do when you are single that I don't think you should do if mm, you are married. Free. When you put yourself in a situation where you are financially situated and you've achieved the financial goals that you set for yourself as a young man and you have established yourself in a position where you can continue to grow your finances, it is a very tricky situation to then add a woman into that mix, especially if she's a woman who hasn't been along for the ride. Now, many men have a woman with them along for the ride and they end up leaving that woman for whatever reason. Maybe she just doesn't fit into the situation anymore, but then they add a woman to the mix. And no matter how you try to vet her, you can never tell if a woman is being added to that mix because she likes you or she likes the lifestyle that can be attained by being with you. The bottom line is whenever you let a woman into your life in a legal marriage as a man, everything that you have, becomes everything that she has and everything that she will try to put her hands on if you two end up not being together via divorce. Now, disclaimer here. I hope Russell Wilson and Sierra make it. I hope they have a long lasting marriage and they grow old together. But not because I'm gung ho all gung ho marriage, but because I, no matter how much of a simp he acts like with this woman, I don't want her to have the opportunity to hit up the bread that he's, you know, sacrificed his body to make over all of these years playing in a rough and tumble game like professional football. That being said, he did put himself in this situation. So I don't know if you know, if you're a football fan, you do know Russell Wilson just got traded from the Seattle Seahawks to the Denver Broncos, which means he had to relocate his family, buy a new home. Just bought a $25 million home, the largest single family home ever purchased in Denver. Here's the catch. When you look at the story, it reads that Russell Wilson and Sierra have flexed their $185 million net worth buying a $25 million home. The problem is Sierra's net worth is about $25 million. So, in essence, what that means is 160 million of that is Russell Wilson's. The problem is, it doesn't matter once you legally marry a woman, it is all hers. And the only man who doesn't see this the way I see it is a man who's broke and gets with a woman who has more money than he does. But here's the issue that we're dealing with. No matter what happens, that woman is going to get credit for whatever takes place in your life. No matter what she contributes, it is yours and hers. Once you give her your last name, it's done. See, women give Russell Wilson credit and they love him. Not because he's an amazing man or anything like that. They don't know him like that. But they see him seemingly happily serving Sierra. See, they know Sierra's happy. She's living that lap of luxury. She's able to still be her same self, act the fool, do all of these different things that she does and, and twerk and move around and, 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 and gyrate like she's still in her 20s when she's damn near 40. But they look at Russell smiling while he's doing it and they think he's happy. Well, he's happy pleasing her. That's the reason they say we're jealous because here's a man who is happy, happy, being a stepdad, happy bringing his 160 million net worth to a woman like to him, her net worth is nothing. That's the equivalent of me meeting a woman and she says, you know, I make 50,000 a year. That's cool, I guess. But the way I view her 50 is the way Russell views Sierra's 25. And I'm not knocking anybody who makes 50. I'm just saying at a certain point, you look at it and you be like, okay, that's cool. But it's just cool. Now, I'll say this, when you give a woman access to all you have, man, you better be sure about that woman, which you can never be, but you better believe you're sure. Because if you give her everything, or at least access to everything you have via legal marriage, you have nothing left for yourself. It all becomes what she has access to. And in the event of divorce, she's gonna take as much of it as she possibly can. If the divorce laws let her take 
75%, she'll take 75%. If the divorce laws let her take 85%, she'll take 85%. See, what you men don't understand is the only reason women are taking 50% is because that's what the divorce laws dictate. If the divorce laws dictated she could take everything, you know how many of you guys will be former millionaires but now destitute because of a divorce. I'm not giving a woman access to my life where she can have credit for the things I do. Where she can get credit for me spending $25 million on a home and she getting credit for spending her net worth on the phone. Now, how her net worth still $25 million if she just bought a $25 million house? See, the problem with you guys, you want to share the life with the woman. Then you want to share the credit for the life with the woman. Then you want to share the ownership of the life with the woman. What's the woman sharing with you? Her body? So let's try to understand how her body is better for you than it was for him, 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 him. Oh, and him over there too, and possibly her. It's not fair exchange. The prize of a man having a wife is to have a wife that he enters first. When that's gone, the prize of having a wife is gone. The last time somebody had that is my dad. That's been a long time ago. Most people got to look at a dad or a granddad, depending on how old you are, to go back that far, which means that's two or three generations removed from this society. Am I saying don't have a woman? No. Am I saying don't enjoy a woman? No. Am I saying don't employ a woman? No. Am I saying women are bad? No. What I am saying is marriage, as it was originally constructed, is dead. Because the participants aren't the same anymore. Men don't fit into the stereotypical marriage narrative, and women certainly don't fit into the stereotypical marriage narrative. There are no traditional wives or traditional husbands left. Why? Because we don't live in a society where that works. It doesn't work anymore. And anytime you try to do it as a man, you're going to end up being taken advantage of. Because the bottom line is divorce is 50% likely to happen. And in the event that it happens without a prenup and sometimes with a prenup, you're going to come out on the short end of the stick, man. So why do it? Unless you find a woman who has never been another man's wife, never had another man's child, never been in love with another man, never wore another man's ring, any of those things. And you can say Sierra had, hadn't been married before, but she was engaged before. She wanted to marry another man before. And my thing is this. When you put a woman in a situation, you had better be sure that she is not emotionally attached to another man. Because that emotional attachment never ever dies it never dies there are women who are emotionally attached to me now man been emotionally attached to me for 20 years you marry one of them you might well prepare yourself for the fact that sometime in her mind she wish you was me that's how you end up at a function where future is because you know this is Drake's homie so you know if drake has a party future's gonna be there that's how you end up in a spot like that because emotionally some down deep down somewhere deep down in there there's a need to either see future impress future or simply make future feel bad and feel fill him up with regret for what he's lost the bottom line is it's too much damn energy for her to still be thrown over there by you letting her claim your $160 million like she got $185 million net worth. Stop putting yourself in these situations. This is a cautionary tale. I'm telling you, when you get a wife, what you get is a true dictator. She's co-dictator over the camp, over the compound, over the city. She has as much say in your life as you have in your life. And can even take more of your money than she leave you with when she's gone. Don't do it, homies. It's dead. Take a wife. When you go into that woman, she's your wife. When you're intimate with her, that's your wife. Legal documentation of your right to choose a wife is the sign of a weak man who doesn't know who he is and doesn't know the value he has in the eyes of the Most High and he doesn't know his heritage. 
Because if you did, you wouldn't put them people in your business like that. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out. Trying to become